I've always said that travel broadens the mind. No, I have to go out of Hogsmeade. I have to go out of Hogsmeade. Yes. 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 I think I can. I'm not sure. What are you up to now? No, next to your potions. I think I'm missing an ingredient to make one. Missing an ingredient to make one. I might just go help Natty. That might be easier. How nice to see you, my young friend. Has a of mm. It's potions. It's potions in there. My uncle was I'm just gonna go Natty. Yeah. Just have to. Yeah. Get some more stuff. Quick away. Alright. No quick away. Oh. <coughs> Trying to find a quick way to get there. Quickest way to get there.
so. Revelio. I went to the lake once. Off on another adventure, are we? Hmm? I gotta go to that map. Hmm. There were games that made you sleep, honey. There were games that made you sleep. What game? Oh. Are you talking about Fable? No, I remember. Mm -hmm. mm, don't know. No, I did not expect that. I think I saw. Hmm, just wandering around. Revelio. Keeper's tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishing for a cozy hut. As large as the occupant may need. That's Hagrid's hut. Is that Hagrid's hut? I 
I should investigate. Natty. It is good to see you, my friend. Hey, you only get to use it once you've been there once. Yeah. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Yeah, I'll let her know. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When hmm. were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic oh, he's spilling used his fighting beans. the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. Mm -hmm. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. 
Watch the light go out of your eyes. Just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Did you see that? The vines dis 
disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Revelio. Incendio. Balance beard. The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Revelio. Incendio. Incendio. What a day! I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Rebellion. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Some assistance. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. 
Father was so distraught mm. that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best Oof. guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Dive the black Fine. Dive down. Huh? I have no idea, I've never done this before. Never done this before. So I don't know. Where is it? This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Oh. I have to destroy it.
I have to empty it now. Two slots. Yeah. Hmm? I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Yeah, I did. What? Yeah. Exactly. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I'm just gonna give it for her, right? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You'd do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Okay. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Anything else I can get rid of? I like that. Ah, I'll just have to come back and up. Hmm. I thought we were supposed to have more gear starts after that. Mm. Oh. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Yes. Bit weird, yeah. Just going to person's house. Like that. Oh, there's a mansion here, maybe. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Revelio. Mm-hmm. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Hmm. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. <laughs> My prices are low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, and it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Leech juice, that's a lot of money. Poor. Eh. Yeah. So that. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I like those house colour scarf. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Good point. That. Bring this one down. Up. But I have two. Okay, so it's less of that one. So keep that one. So this one.
Don't know. Don't mind that. I don't mind it. I think I'll just leave it there. I hope to see you again sometime. What? Oh. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Revelio. Is that inside? It's inside the house. How do we get to that back? Thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Well, oh, let's just go collecting and then come back. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Twenty-six. I don't want them to wear anything. I don't know. I hope to see you again sometime.
Sell the other two. Sell the other two. So, I think I can actually... Actually, change the way it looks. House guys. I'll sell the other scars. I already did. be a higher level. Hello, Mr. Sammy. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? What I got at the moment? I can sell that one. Defense go up by twenty eight. I hope to see you again sometime. from the Okay. Shall I help this guy first? 